Hello everyone, welcome to a Friday product post where we have a few new products to talk about that might help you out. Let's see what we've got. This is the LilyPad Pixel. The LilyPad Pixel is basically a LilyPad version of the WS2811 breakout, which is a daisy chainable RGB LED. So instead of having a normal RGB LED that you just control the R, the G, the B, the red, green, blue individually, this guy you can actually daisy chain a ton of these together. These are the same types of LEDs that are in those long LED strips that you see and you can individually address each one for all the different colors. So next up, we've got a very interesting little product here. This is our new third hand. And if you're familiar with third hands, they look a little something like this traditionally. And the problem with these is they're kind of, <laughs> nice, they're kind of a pain to adjust and get exactly the way you want. And the base is a little flimsy, so they're just, kind of annoying. Um, so we designed a slightly better one. This is our version. Um, we actually saw this on the Instructables and thought it was a really great idea. Um, we've got this nice aluminum base. We've got six threaded holes and then you've got these two flexible hoses that you can adjust to any angle you want. And then we've got two little alligator clips to hold your board at the end. Now you can use any of the six threaded holes We've even got four holes on the corners, so you can actually screw this down to your bench if you want. And then we've got three additional holes here in the middle that you can use. So it comes in this box. So you've got the two individual hoses. Um, we've got the baggie that includes the little feet that are on the bottom. We've got four nice little rubber bumpers on the bottom. And then we've got some heat shrink, a couple of screws, and the alligator clips. So the first thing we want to do is actually assemble the alligator clips on the end of the hoses. So what we're going to need to do is snap this end off. And you can either put it in here or you can just kind of snap it off like that. We're going to take the screw, slide it through like that, and then screw it onto the end of the alligator clip. Now there's a bit of a trick to snapping these back on because you want to, when you apply force to it, they kind of bend all over the place. So what we found is you can actually just take one of these, drop it in the base like that, and then snap it in. And there you go. So now that we have the two arms built, um, we can actually screw them into the plate wherever we want. And if you look at the plate, you can see that there's a little bit of a countersink on one side, but not the other. This is gonna be the back, because if you did want to screw this down to a bigger base or your bench or something like that, you would use these countersinks. So we're just gonna screw these arms in from the top. Um, and we're just going to take off our bumpers and put them on the bottom. So we also include a couple little lengths of heat shrink tubing. So if you want to put the heat shrink on the end of your alligator clamps, then you won't scratch or mar the board. We also do sell extra hoses individually and extra packs of the alligators, heat shrink, and screws. So if you want to add additional hoses, you can add up to six on one of these bases. You can do that. Um, the other thing is you can get kind of creative with these. Um, these arms actually have a tube running through it. Um, so we've actually seen people that have done LEDs in the end of them. So you could snap off the end, embed an LED, and you could have a little work light in there as well. There's a lot of different things you can do with these. And, you know, honestly, the possibilities are endless. It's good anytime you need that extra little helping hand. Smooth. Yeah, what's up? No, I can't, I can't play cards with you tonight, Dave. I am way too busy. You have any twos? Go fish, huh? Hmm. Do you have an eight? Go fish, huh? 